and welcome back to complete comeback session two. This is dribbling and passing. Now you're gonna to need to do this session with a partner so you can take it in turns. There are four key points to this session. The first one is having a positive first touch into space when receiving the ball. The second one is keeping the ball as close as you can to your body. You're in a quite a tight, confined space, so make sure you're looking after the ball at all times. The third one is to stay as close as you can to the cones or poles that you're traveling around. And the final one is to limit the amount of touches you're taking when changing direction. Now the setup for this session is quite similar to session one. We're looking for two mannequins or two cones which are 15 to 20 yards apart and then two poles or other cones that are gonna be diagonally apart in a zigzag. Now you're gonna be receiving the ball from your partner and traveling around these poles or cones in a zigzag. Like I said, keeping as close as you can to them. Uh, when you have finished going around once, you are going to pass the ball to your partner and you're going to repeat this so you're doing it twice. Now you can see Dexter here ready to receive the ball with the inside of his feet in the direction he wants to travel. something we would always encourage is creativity and you can see Dexter there and a little replay a great turn to continue his journey okay stop pause the video I want you to repeat the exercise three times Time yourself on each attempt, record your results, and revisit this again in one week. So, welcome to the second part of session two, the progression of dribbling and passing. Now, the first two key points for this are maintained from the first part of the drill. So, you keep in a positive first touch into space when receiving the ball from your partner and also keeping the ball as close to your body as you can as we are moving in a small confined space. Now we're introducing the passing element, so I want you to produce a weighted pass to receive the ball on the opposite side of the cones. Now when you are receiving this ball from a self pass, I am looking for another positive touch in the direction that you are traveling. So as you can see, we have the same setup. But this time you will be producing your pass one side of a cone and to receive it the other side. And every cone or pole or mannequin that you travel to, you'll be doing this. This is one rep. You're going to be doing this twice. So once again, looking for that positive touch into space in the direction you want to travel. And here again, a little bit of creativity from Dexter, a lovely little Ronaldo chop round the mannequin. Now we are looking to try and travel as quick as we can. You can see Dexter here getting nice and low round that final mannequin to do this exercise in the quickest time possible. Stop, pause the video. Repeat this exercise three times. Time yourself on each attempt. Record your results and revisit this again in one week. <laughs> 